Hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you some of the new Kringle candle and country candle spring and summer fragrances. So my approach on these is to get all the new fragrances in these little daylight candle format. And these are 1.5 ounce candles. They're little single wick candles. As you can see there. And I actually use these as wax melts to, to, to try out the new fragrances. So I just plop this whole thing in a, um, a hot plate melter. I use the dish that came with a hot plate melter, plop this in. After it all melts, I just pour out the wax into that little dish, but you don't really have to do that. The plastic doesn't melt and it just sits in there and it, it can do just fine without pouring it out of here. And it lasts about two days usually. And it gives me a good idea about these fragrances and which ones I might want to get before I invest in the candles. Because, you know, let's face it, candles are expensive and I don't want to just buy them all. My temptation is to buy them all because I want to try them all. And that's a bit of money. So I would prefer to test them out this way and then go ahead and get several of them in the candle form and maybe many of them in the wax melt form, which are, is a little bit more expensive than these. I think these are $3, $3.50. They're not an exorbitant price and um, it's just really nice. And sometimes they have a sale. Also, I have a discount code. I am a, Kingle, a Kringle ambassador. So you can use my code, which is Amy15, to get 15% off your purchases, which is nice. But um, I, I prefer to start out with this, these little guys. So, and may I say, even on these little fellas, the, the labels are just beautiful. So it's similar to the large, the large scale labels, just in this tiny format. So today I'm going to, I have sniffed all of these and I've actually warmed a couple of them. So this is more first impressions than it is post warm. I'm not reading scent notes. I'm going to tell you what I smell. And I have given that some thought, so um, I'm not gonna just be hemming and hawing, <laughs> hopefully. But uh, I, this is what I pick up in these. So first of all, so some of these are Kringle and some of these are Country, and that's the same company. Uh, in the candle format, Kringle is always a white wax, and Country goes to all the different colored waxes. And also Country is paraffin, where the Kringle line is increasingly soy. They have soy and parasoy. The three wick are parasoy, and the, um, the tall two wick and the medium two wick are 100% soy. Those are very clean and um, don't soot. I'm getting great throw from those. These little guys are paraffin. All right, without further ado, first up we have from the Country Candle line, this is Pineapple Rita. So I'm thinking pineapple margarita kind of vibe. And indeed, so it's a nice fresh, like a fresh green pineapple, not an overly ripe pineapple and a little bit of greenery and maybe some saltiness. It's very nice. It's light and fresh by light. It's, it's not a heavy concentrated fragrance. It's very nice. This is in the, I would say in the fresh green category. So that's Pineapple Rita. And I will try and show the label on each of these because I love their labels. I did get two of those. Okay, then next up we have, again from the country line, this is Strawberry Mint Tart. And doesn't that look delicious? So this guy, and these are, are white wax. Sometimes these little guys are also colored wax, but these are white. So to me, this is Strawberry Mint Tart. is a slightly artificial but pleasant strawberry, a little bit of mint leaf, and then kind of a doughy bread note that is the tart. I'm not getting a real flaky tart, like a buttery flaky tart. So we'll see how that is on warm. Um, I like the strawberry. It is, like I said, it's a little bit artificial, but I, but it's very pleasant. So that's strawberry mint tart. I got two of those also. Now next up, this is one I have melted already. So I had two 
This one is Essentials, and look at that beautiful label. On the candle, this is so gorgeous. And this one is from the Kringle line. So this one, this is very, oh, it's a uh, citrus. Oh, it's so nice. So this is um, grapefruit, orange, a little bit of greenery, like maybe a cilantro, and maybe a little bit of floral. It's absolutely beautiful, very refreshing. I melted this yesterday, well, it's pear yesterday, and it was medium-high throw. I was surprised. Usually these daylights really are powerhouses, so it was about a medium, and I'm wondering, these are so, these just arrived the other day, and I'm wondering if they don't need to sit a little bit, because some of them smell a little light. Normally these are powerhouses. Anyway, I love this one. I would like to get that one in the candle. It's so refreshing with that grapefruit note and a little bit of greenery. Beautiful. So that's Essentials. Next up we have also from Kringle. This one is Fruit and Flakes. So this is one of the two cereal um, blends that they offered this spring. You see the beautiful picture there. I like this one less than the other one, which I'll tell you about in a minute. This one is Fruit and Flakes. Yeah, I've heard various descriptions of this, but to me it smells like dry corn flakes and maybe some sliced fruit. It's a pleasant smell. It smells like you've, I've just opened a box of corn flakes. So it may change on warm. Everything changes on warm. I do get a slight, like strawberry. It's supposed to have blueberry in it, according to the picture. Again, I'm not reading scent notes today. So a bit of sliced fruit and corn flakes and we'll see how that does on warm. So that one was Fruit and Flakes. And then the other cereal one from Kringle is Marshmallow Morning. And this one I'm very fond of indeed, and I think I will like to get in the candle. I'm not normally a big cereal blend fan, but this one's very nice. Mm, you sure get the marshmallow. So this is Marshmallow Morning. To me, this smells like Rice Krispies, so like a puffed cereal of some kind and then just clouds of marshmallow. So you certainly do get a cereal note. It's very sweet. Oh, it's just the marshmallow. I love marshmallow, so this is, to me, very beautiful. I'm eager to do this one. I love this, Marshmallow Morning. And there you have that beautiful picture from the Kringle line. So I'd like to get the soy candle of this. Next up from Kringle also we have <clears throat> excuse me, cherry tree, again with the lovely label. I like this one a lot. Oh, it's just a beautiful, sweet, white floral. I think I'm going to get the candle. I might get a, a smaller candle on this one. Oh, it's nice. I might get the big candle. Maybe the tall two wick. This is beautiful. Sweet white floral. That's cherry tree. My husband and I lived in Japan when he was in the Navy band. This was a million years ago. And the cherry tree, the blooming of the cherry trees is just a national observance. Everybody stops what they're doing and spends a day or two just going and enjoying the cherry trees. They have kind of a, a very light floral fragrance. So this I would say is a more brilliant, sweet white floral, but, but it, it, it evokes that beautiful display of cherry trees. Okay, next up we have Sunday Fun Day from the Country Line, and I guess they're implying a brunch beverage of some Sunday brunch kind of effect. Yeah, to me, I'm getting like a bit of maybe mango, a bit of peach, maybe melon. I'm not sure, but it's a slightly tropical, not coconutty. It's a tropical blend. Very nice. Sweet, but not not overpoweringly so. That's very pleasant. It's a pleasant fruity blend. So that's Sunday Fun Day. Next we have, oh this one. So this is from the Kringle line and it is Wisteria. And look at that picture. And on the candle, oh the Wisteria vines are just stunning. The label's gorgeous. So as you might expect, this one is a floral. Beautiful heady floral. Oh, it's lovely. So you get the jasmine in this. I have smelled wisteria vine. And that's, it's fragrant, but not, it is, it's very sweet. 
I'm getting more jasmine in this. Very nice. Beautiful. That's another one I would probably want to get in a candle. So that's Wisteria. Next from the country line, we have Spiral Aloe with a very geometric label. And this one is fresh and green. Oh, I really like this. This is very fresh and green. Reminds me of uh, cucumber and aloe blends that you find in vendor wax. Oh, it's lovely. I will certainly get um, the meat, probably the the large jar, the country, um, be the light, this colored green wax. So that's spiral aloe. Oh, I did have another wisteria. I got two of those. Next up from the country line, we have blueberry cream pop. And there, that makes you hungry looking at that, doesn't it? So this one I liked as well. That's nice to me. Slightly artificial blueberry, but it's pleasant. To me, this is kind of like a blueberry yogurt smoothie. I like it. It's nice. Creamy. That's blueberry uh, cream pop. Now this one. This is probably my favorite, and I like several of these. But this from the Kringle line, Herbal Tea. And I think this is actually a returning favorite. I think they've had this before. This is, oh, it's beautiful. So this is like a very concentrated brewed tea. To me, a mix of like pico tea and maybe a bit of chamomile and several pieces of fresh lemon. That lemon is just throughout the scent. That is beautiful. Very strong. I cannot wait to melt that one, and then I'm definitely getting a candle in that. So that's herbal tea. Next we have from the Kringle line, this one is Beautiful Day. And again, look at the label on that. Beautiful pastel colors on the candle. This is stunning. To me, this reminds me of Victoria's Secret Love Spell. So it's slightly perfumey, girly, very pleasant, very pleasant scent. That's beautiful day. Then we have, now this one was not at all what I was expecting. This is succulents from the Kringle line. Look at that beautiful picture of the little succulent fellows. So I don't know what I was expecting, but this is kind of, it's, it's a bit spicy. It's almost like there's some cinnamon in there. Maybe some cardamom. It's green. It is not sweet. It is green and fresh, not sweet, and a bit of spice. So it kind of reminds me of a dry, it's a dry scent. So it's kind of like the sand in the desert. That's the scent. I only know of one other scent that is supposed to be representing sand and in a different brand. And this is drawing up a memory of that. So I don't know. I'm not sure where they were headed with this, and I need to, to melt this to get a better idea. But it is slightly spicy and a dry, green, spicy note. So different. That's succulents. Then we have watermelon lemonade from the Country Line. The Country Line candles are all very bright and cheery. So this is, oh, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Dragon Fruit Lemonade, did I say that? I like this a lot. So this to me is almost like Hawaiian Punch and Lemonade mixed together. Mm, it's very nice. It's sweet and tart at the same time. I guess the tartness from the lemon and the sweetness from the fruit punch. I like this very much. <laughs> that one, that's gonna be great on a hot summer day. So that's Dragon Fruit Lemonade. Then we have Watermelon Pops from the Country Line also. And this one, so it's kind of an artificial watermelon. It's a little bit like Jolly Rancher. 
but it's bright and fresh and, and pleasing. Very refreshing, it is sweet, very sweet. And maybe a bit of mint, that's nice. That's watermelon pops. And then the last no, just stop. That would be Moses, that is his comment on the day. Moses the Beagle. Last but not least. Okay, so Neapolitan Sunday. So if you'll all think about Neapolitan ice cream, which is chocolate vanilla strawberry, right? Beautiful picture. This is from the country line. Now, so to me, this smells like when you've just opened a tub of ice cream and it's really cold and icy, really cold and frozen hard. It hasn't begun to melt. You're not gonna be able to dip it out yet. It has that cold, hard smell to me of ice cream. So that creamy, cold note, and then chocolate and a bit of strawberry. Chocolate being the strongest note on cold. I like this so much. Now, I have two of these. I melted one of them yesterday and it was so very light. So fingers crossed that it's just a function of needing to cure a little bit. Oh, I have such hopes for this, but my goodness, it was just horribly light. It's so very light. So fingers crossed. We're gonna hope, get, let that get the second one sit for a little bit and hopefully it will get stronger because I really like the fragrance. It's very evocative of my childhood. My father loved Neapolitan ice cream. We had it frequently. So that's Neapolitan Sunday, and that is it. So if I had to pull out my favorites, I would say Neapolitan Sunday, Spiral Aloe, Cherry Tree, Herbal Tea, Essentials, And where is it? Here, marshmallow morning. All right, that's it. So after I warm them, I will come back and talk about them some more and then I'll probably buy some of the candles. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care and until next time, hug your families. Bye for now.